Hi, Ann Cornick from Paint and Porcelain. I'm here to teach beginners how to get started in China painting, and hopefully if you've been painting a while, you'll join us and paint along with us. And uh, today, uh, we're gonna be working on the final version of our grapes. This is what my, my third fire turned out like on my grapes. Oh, here we go, there, a little better there, that way, okay? And so I, I'm pretty pleased with the third fire. I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're just gonna be doing things that we need to do. And then this is the second fire. I know they look a little bit alike, but I did outline this leaf because on this you can't even see it. So we're gonna do a little bit of, we're just gonna put things to add depth pretty much or color if we need color in certain spots. Let me talk to you a little bit then about what I learned at the school this time. I painted with Nancy Fisher. So this is the plate that I did with with Nancy. So I learned a lot of different styles. Well, I couldn't figure out how she got it so shiny. And if you guys looked at Randy Wollett's plates, they were all amazingly shiny. And so I thought, well, I'm gonna have to learn how they do this. So I asked her and she says, I'm gonna show you. So this is the secret. The secret is flux, F-L-U-X. And, um, you can buy it from any of the um, any of the different China stores. They all carry flux. So I took an old plate, one of my uh, plates that I did with you guys, and see how dull it is. No shine to it. And it's because it's blue. Basically, I learned that blue fire is dull, kind of no matter what you do, especially if you use it for a background. So then she told me to take flux and take the powder and mix it up as if I were mixing up paint for my palette. So I used mineral oil. And then I took my paint. Now, I took my paint off my palette so I knew exactly how much I had. And the idea is to put a third flux that's already mixed with a th two thirds paint. And you can either mix the paint fresh or you can just get it off your palette and you mix the two together. You don't add any additional um, mineral oil or anything to mix it with. Okay, so I did that. And your color will change. It will become slightly lighter, but it'll also be able to paint a lot smoother for you. Now, don't put in more than a third. You have to kind of eyeball it. And I was worried because there were a couple of times I thought I overdid. It's, it still turned out okay. And then you just fire it as you normally do. Now, here's the plate that I fired and I was amazed. Look at this, look at this shine. Can you see that shine on there? All the way around. Just beautiful. So, so now when I put this on my table at a show, it's going to look extremely professional and it's going to have a nice even shine all the way across. One thing I want to tell you is you cannot put flux in iron based paint, um, red paint, purple, uh, orange or yellow that it does not go with those. You don't do that. You don't mix flux in with those, but the others you're supposed to be okay on. So try it. Um, you have to paint another coat. So with that, I painted the whole background with it. And then, oh, here, let me show you. And then I washed it over the leaves even. And I washed it up here over the leaves because I just, I like that. And it everything on my plate just shines like you wouldn't believe. Um, it, it's just amazing. And apparently this is the big secret that nobody tells you about, that the teachers are able to get these gorgeous plates. Now, um, one thing I will, um, one thing I will tell you though is, um, you know, if you can, uh, keep your fluxed paints. You don't have to throw them out. Once you're done mixing the flux in, you can keep the paint on your palette. Just make, make sure you mark it fluxed because you may not want to use it if you're painting like, I don't know, I paint a lot of bisque and I wouldn't want to use the flex paint on this. Alrighty, okay. so this is, these are our grapes. This is the second fire. And as you notice, I outlined this for you so you could see it. Um, I'm gonna only add depth. Colors for today, everything under the sun, of course. Um, warm brown, green, heliotrope, air blue, cobalt. This is a black grape, which I added at the last minute because I think I could use it 
American Beauty is uh, actually comes out kind of like that color, kind of like a, a lighter version of, um, oh, I don't know, like a purpley green, uh, purpley uh, pink. We have Red Grape. This is Yellow Brown. This is a Royal Blue, which is different than my Cobalt um, Cool Shadow. I have a yellow, a light green, a dark green, a medium green, which is moss, a dark brown, which is rich brown, and I also have, um, this is auburn, but I just have something that's kind of an orangey color. Now, you can use any colors you want. My colors have nothing to do with anything. If you don't like the colors on this at this point, this is the time to change them. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say you wanted to use brown instead of the red grape I was going to use. You could put brown here. Look how dramatically that changes it. Let's use the brown, and I'm just going to come down in here, and I'm going to lightly tease around here. I'm going to mix, mix a little bit of red grape with it, too, because I kind of like the red grape. I like that reddish background on it. And then I'm going to turn it this way. We're going for the darkest colors. We want to offset this. We want to make it look, you know, really, really different really pretty and um, you want this to be the focal point that's what we're going for there okay and then I'm going to go over here and kind of just bring it over I'm not I'm not overly doing it I'm just sort of bringing it over and then I'm going to flip around and do my edges here with it a little bit I'm going to pat my brush off on my towel and feather I'm going to try to feather in line with the way that the, the leaf goes here. Okay, and then up the middle, I'm just going to do a little bit of this. Red grape still. Do a little bit of this. I'm just coming down to kind of accent these, the center area here. And I'll just come down this side and do the same thing and then pull it around this way and then just pull things out so that they look a little more natural. They don't look like I just finished putting the color in. Oh, too dark. Yeah, this color, this um, stuff that I'm using, the turpenoid, it does come out dark. Keep uh, Q-tips or something around so you can just pull it off if it gets too un unruly for you. So there we go. And I'm going to do this a little here because I think there's like a line there and I don't want that. You really don't want lines if you can avoid it. It looks a little clumsy, I think. So we'll see how we can fix this. All right, that's my darkest one. Now, I'm, if I go down on my grapes, I'm going to use a smaller brush, probably like a six. That's my six. Now I'm using the black grape again. And I'm coming down here. I'm going to carry, oh, change back to my 10. Sorry, I shouldn't do that. I just realized I could use a little black grape down in here. Yeah, that's a little better. Uh, I guess I'm going this way. And I'm going to go down the center here. I'm going to go down the center here just a little, not much. Then I'm going to pull it all in. So it's not, oh, I'm right in my way, right? Not so obvious. And then up here, I have a little bit of orange. And here I have a little bit of orange. The key on this is to leave the light. That's the key, ladies. Just leave the light. And gentlemen, just leave the light. Mm. Okay, this side needs something. I think I'm going to go with... Um, I really want to do a moss, but I think I'm going to go with the warm brown green just to make it a little deeper. I think it needs to make it a little more grounded, and I think some of the warm brown green will help do that. You use any color you want. Remember, this is China paint. You don't like it, wipe it off. See, I didn't like that. I wiped it off. Okay, that's what you do. So keep in mind that it's China paint. You can try all the colors you want. So you put your, your sponge like this on your finger so that it's around your finger and makes a little punch there. 
and you just dab a little. And that should um, help you lighten up some of those places. You can even pull with it a little like this. See, and that'll light it up too. Okay. All righty. And now I want a little something in there. Oops, here's another spot that needs it. So you're just going around your leaves and deciding where do you need a little depth? Where do you need a little color? That's all you're doing. And the depth and color that I'm using is either a red grape or brown, rich brown, one or the other. Wash over the grapes and then come back to them. That's entirely up to you. And I'm just pulling gently. I just wanted a little bit of depth there. Okay. Alrighty, now we're gonna go into the, um, I'm gonna take this one more time and finish this leaf. Just so it doesn't go up too far. Alrighty. And now I'm gonna go into the red grape and I'm gonna start doing some of these guys. Now this guy's on top, we know that. And he's fine. I don't think he needs a whole lot of color. I'm putting a little blue with it, a little blue here, just to put him down behind. And I'm going to take my Q-tip and just round these guys out a little. Got my brown on them too much. Now, the other secret weapon you can use if you want is, um, oh, here, one more place. You can also use um, black grape, and that's why I added it, if you need to. I'm going here and just making sure this guy's on top. And black grape, if you tuck that in some really dark places, it will help a lot. See how much that helped? And I'm going to do it on this side, too. This is black grape. It's just giving me that hint of color that I need there. And then I want these two guys to be on top. So I will get something. It can be my stub. It can be my... Q-tip. I'm just going to pull these on top a little bit and make sure that they have light. Okay. This guy needs to come back here this way a little bit. Yep. Ah. You can use your finger too, guys. It works well. And then down here, I'm going to put a little black grape. I think the black grape really helps. There. Okay. All righty. Now you step back and you look at this and you may say, does everything have light on it? This needs a light. This needs a light. This needs a light. You want to make sure that you get a little bit of the color out so that you can see where you're going, you know, so that you you have that highlight because once you lose the highlight, it's gone forever. Just putting a little more dark black grape back in here. If you order a study from my shop, you can get it as a downloadable study or I can mail it to you. And it has links. If you get it downloaded, save it to your computer and it has links that will automatically take you to this, the, um, the Facebook and um, the YouTube, um, you know, video. And that way, as you're working, you can work right along with me the way I did it at the time. Now, if you don't like that, then you've got the written study right there and you can use that. And that will also help you make sure that you have the information that you need. You also get the first, second, and third fire, if there is a third fire, 
so you can see exactly what it looks like and what it's going to look like. So, yeah, you do get all those things. Um, you also get them on the, if I mail it to you, but if I mail it to you, you can't save it to your computer and the link, you'd have to type the link in and sometimes that's more difficult. So I'm just trying to make it as easy as I can for you guys. There's also a free study you can get there for wild roses for beginners. So if you watch my um, watch my YouTube and then you go and you purchase, you go online and, and act as if you're going to purchase the, um, the wild rose study, it's free and it'll just come right to you and you won't have to pay for it. And you just download it and you're all set. And then um, after that, if you want to study, you would pay for them. If you go to my channel, which is the one I put up there earlier, um, it will also take you um, to all of my uh, different, uh, it'll list all of my different um, YouTubes. Now there must be close to 80 or 90 out there right now. So it helps if you know a little bit about what you're looking for to put the name into search. And that, that will give you a, a better uh, chance of finding it. But yeah, this is black grape. If you wonder what I'm putting there, I kind of like it. Kind of did more than I thought it would. And I'm going to put a little right here. Okay. And then I just want to make sure that these are really um, a little more colorful, a little more their color. So I'm taking the American Rose, just putting it on my brush and just sort of wiping the bottoms of these just so I have a little more color on these. And you can do it if you want. You don't have to. but I think it helps, okay? And right here, I could use a little, there, that's better. That red grape was a little too red. Okay, so that's what I've got so far. Now, if that's too dark for you, remember, it's going to fire out. Here's this guy. Look at how much it did fire out. That's the final fire, so keep that in mind. Now, over here, I was toying with the idea of doing a wash. Okay, here I'm gonna do a wash, and I'm gonna do it with, um, I think, the cobalt, because I kinda like it. And I'm just going to do a wash over here just to try to put these guys back a little bit. Now, if I had been smart, I probably would have put some of that flux in there, but I didn't. And here I could probably use a little bit of the black grape. Let's see if that makes a difference. A little bit. There we go. Okay, because those are kind of under. These guys should be on top. All righty. And, and now I don't know how much these guys really need. I'm just going to take a little cobalt and maybe look at it and say, okay, who's on top? I made this guy on top now that I'm looking at my, um, my second coat. So let me pull him out. He should be on top. The way you pull him out is just go around, pull the color out, okay? Here I want a little more light. Here, I want a little more light. Remember, I saved it. I already had the light underneath there. Okay. You really have to feather gently with these. Okay, and then I'm going to take my number six brush, and I'm just going to go in and put a little bit of the dark where I need it. There. There. Here, probably. maybe a little on this side right here. One thing I've learned, and you may find this too, is that you can go across and get a really nice, instead of going round all the time, you can do round and then you can do, hi Mary, and then you can do across and it'll give you kind of the same look and a smoother look. There we go. Okay, so those guys are under there. I'm almost done with this guy. I think I'm going to, let's do this. I'm going to take my brown. I'm going to go over here. And let's kind of straighten this up here. Make that a little darker. I'm going to put a little here. Make that a little darker. Make that a little darker. I'm using my big brush now just to dance around a little. It should be fine. Make this a little darker. 
This guy over here could use a little brown, so I'm just going to help him out a little bit. Didn't get a lot of care the last time, so... Oops, I need some oil. So I'm just making those curly cues again because they kind of got lost. I probably shouldn't do this because I'm going to do the leaf behind him and then I'm probably going to lose him again. And th this guy here kind of got lost, so I'll do him again. You're just touching up now, remember. You're just touching up whatever it was that you think you missed. If you need to do a little up in here, make it look a little scragglier, you can. You just dance around with your paint, your darker paint, and it will do it for you. And if you need to come down like this, or you need to come up like this, do it. It's entirely up to you. And then right here on this guy, I think I'm going to <clears throat> take a little brown green and just go across the top. I'm traveling, my hand is traveling right on the side here. I'm going to put a little dark here, and then I'm going to take my green with a little brown and just do a little down here on the edge. I just want my edges to be a little cleaner than they are. That's all I'm doing is the edge down here. See, just the edge. Okay, that guy, he's pretty good. He needs a little, little something in the middle there. Um, I guess brown green's the best I have, so I'll do it. I'm going to do that. Take a little more brown green. I'm going to do that and that. Mix a little brown with it, maybe. There we go. Sometimes adding a little brown will also help your colors. You just have to play with them and see. But see, I don't want that really, really to stand out too much. It appears I have some on the china, and I don't want that, so let's get it off. There we go. Yeah, you kind of have to watch. Alrighty, so I've got kind of all that done. Now I'm going to come over here and do this big guy, and then I'm just going to finish off that guy, and we'll be done. So, okay, here, back to black grape again, because I really want to make sure that these guys get tucked in there. And you have to kind of look at them from the front, to make sure it looks right to you, okay? And then, so I, I might paint it upside down because I always paint towards myself, but then I turn it around and see, do I like that? Don't I like that? I think I want that whole guy to be grape. There we go. And I think I want, see some of these, I worked so hard to get that red on there, and now I think I'm just gonna leave it and just make it there. I think that tucks them in a lot better, don't you? These are the same. Doggone, this little guy doesn't want to cooperate with me. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna... Okay, so then you turn them towards yourself and you say, where do I need the light? Is the light on all of them the best I can do it? Is there any highlight missing that I need to wipe out? And if there is, wipe it out. Okay. Alrighty. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is this shadow leaf. I'm just gonna add a little bit of warm brown green to it because if I hadn't traced it, you wouldn't even have known it was there. So I need to add a little bit of warm brown green to it just to bring it out. It's a shadow leaf, so I'm not adding a lot. I'm going around the outside of the leaf just like I always do. Down here, down here, pulling it a little bit towards the middle. And then I'm going to, oh, got to come over here. Get this guy, get this guy, this guy. This guy up here, this and this. And then I just want it to be kind of a solid leaf. I really don't want it to have a lot of color, um, a lot of detail. So I'm just 
kind of going in and now I'll pull it all out to the edge and I can pull it over the edge if I don't like it. I can go back with my stub. I'm upside down here and I'm just gonna, I better get something that's better here. That stub's kind of worn out. There we go. These are the newest rage everybody's talking about, the pointed um, Q-tips. They're okay. There are a lot of other things you can use if you don't have them, but if you do, they're, they're kind of nice. So I think that adds a little more to the, the whole setup there. And then there, there. I always just double check. Making sure I didn't bury one of those highlights that I could have used. Okay, make sure you sign your piece. I think it's pretty well done. I guess there's this is the only thing that's bugging me up here, there. Maybe a little there. Oh, you know, that's where the uh, turpentine spilled. Here, I can see that now. Let me fix that a little better. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you can use a Q-tip to touch up quite a bit. Working on. I actually like this one, I think, better than the one I just did. Um, so this is the one we did today. And uh, this is the one I fired from before. And I was missing the depth up in here. You can see. That's why I do two plates. I might do this one again with, with a little darker. But maybe not. It's not bad. But this one, I think, really, really has the, the depth to it that we want. Or I'm looking for. So, um, okay, that's it for this week. All righty. Pick up those brushes. Keep painting. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed the program. And I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe so that other people can learn more about China painting and we can get the word out to more people. Uh, you also can look at the links below. Uh, my paintandporcelain.com website has a lot of freebies and printables for uh, new and experienced painters, as well as studies, supplies, and even some of my hand-painted china. So thank you again, and I'll see you next time.